So, you're a human being on planet Earth, and you've noticed that there's many other human beings around you, and if you so choose, <laughs> you may interact with them at your leisure. But depending on your skill level and what you say to each other, that may or may not lead to terrifying situations, and I'd like to help you improve that today. For the animals. I didn't realize it was pedestrian Sunday. There's more people that I'm used to, but for some reason it's comforting knowing that I'm strange in a group of strangers. <laughs> So today's video is about communication and how to improve your relationships with your friends, your lovers, and your parents, and your pets. So last night, me and my girlfriend went out for our three year anniversary. It's been three years since I met my buttercup pudding pie. And I tell ya, it was probably the worst date we've ever had in our lives. Terrible. The thing I love about her though, is whenever we have a problem, we work it out. We find out why, what happened. And it's always a miscommunication, something was said, we can't read each other's minds just yet. And then we wonder, it's like, do you hate me? And it's like, no, I just, I just don't like lettuce. I, how did you get that? What? What? <laughs> so the plan was to meet up at her place where I would eat a bunch of mangoes and figs and then we go out to a raw restaurant because I'm on this raw food diet and I'm sticking with it. I ain't cheating. Even for an anniversary, there's music. Is it beautiful? Not as good as vegetable police music, which you can get it. So the plan was to meet at her house, but my girlfriend and I are so synchronistic. I tell you, even on our first date, I thought I was going to be like 40 minutes late, and I was freaking out, and she ended up being on the same subway. And so I'm on my way to her house, and the subway shut down, I had to take a shuttle bus, and she meets me and she gets on that same bus. So our plans got thrown out the window and I had nowhere to eat my mangoes. It's like we're getting ready to go to a restaurant now and we both don't have smartphones with internet because we're caveman bitches. And so we didn't even know if the place was open or not. So we get on a subway now and we have no idea where we're even going. And so we just get off at where we think the place is, but it wasn't there, it wasn't there. So we get off and we're walking around. We're like, we don't know what we're doing in life. We're lost souls of this earth. <laughs> you know what sucks? I only have three minutes left on this memory card. I just did a battery test and I forgot to erase the file that takes up my entire memory card. My God, I'll have to continue this later. 5.99 for 100 calories of strawberries. $6 for this tiny melon. You believe this? Duff's famous wings. The bird might have had a chance to become famous had you not killed it and ate its wings. Dick.
So I was hangry on this bus. You ever get in a mood where you're just like, no matter what the person you're with is saying to you, they're saying funny shit, you're just like, <laughs> why do we get like that? Just lighten up. So we're on this subway, it's crowded. I'm just angry, there's so many loud noises around me. People are shouting. I don't know why it was so busy. Saturday night, what do people go out on Saturday nights? That's dumb. So we're not sure where to get off. We know there's a raw restaurant at Bathurst and I suggested it, but she was like, that place looks like a pizzeria. Where's the romance? <laughs> you women in your romance. Just eat the food, shovel it into your mouth. Happy anniversary. <laughs> so we decided not to get off at Bathurst. And since we didn't, we figured maybe there was another raw restaurant close by, which we weren't sure of its existence at all. I don't know why I climbed up this thing. It's for comedic effect, but it was just dumb. So we get off at the station, and then we walk around looking for a raw restaurant that doesn't exist. And we found this one vegan place, and we're like, are you a raw vegan place? And she was like, no. And I was like, well, can we see your menu? And she was like, we don't have a menu. We don't do menus here. You just, you tell the chef what you want and he takes care of you. We should have went there, but I'm doing a cleanse. I want to cleanse my, my disgusting body. I have to heal myself and I'm not going to compromise. We could have went out for all you can eat vegan sushi, but we didn't do it. So we didn't go to that place. <laughs> So we go to a park and eat my mangoes. At that point, I had to eat something or somebody was getting hurt. So we eat these mangoes and all is right again. We got our sugar fix for that half an hour. And then we're thinking, okay, let's get sushi. There's nothing else, but there was no place. And then we're just like, <laughs> so at this point it's like 8 30 there's nowhere to go and i was like all right let's just go to your place and she's like well i have to eat i have to eat <laughs> i'm in a bumblebee boat it's a bumblebee what do you think of that they say you have to grow up you don't i should but i don't have to so we end up going to a sushi place near her house. I didn't get anything. She got something to go, ate it on the way home, got a stomach ache. No passion was had this night. It was just like, it was the worst night ever. And so like, I'm not happy. I'm like going to bed, I'm like, yeah. She's like, are you mad? I'm like, no. <laughs> I wasn't mad at her, but I wasn't thrilled with our date. And I'm eating figs in the sushi place. I'm like, fun times, fun life, dried figs, happy anniversary. Point is though, we worked it out. We always work out our problems. We have, we don't have fights. We're not a typical couple where we yell at each other. We never have those. I've been with her three years. We've never yelled at each other. We've had a couple disagreements, a couple silent treatment for a little, like an hour. It's like nothing, outrageous where we're just tearing into each other wanting to hurt the other I'm small enough <laughs> I see some couples just screaming at each other what the fuck hun hun fuck you <laughs> got you a coffee hun is there milk and sugar yeah there's milk and sugar got them both you know I'm allergic you piece of shit. so we're not like that and whenever we have a disagreement it's always been a miscommunication like the one of us thought the other meant something else than what they really meant I tell you guys and girls don't think the same at all women are very good at intuition and reading other women's minds and then they expect that ability from us we don't know what the hell's going on ever so if I can give you any advice 
It's just speak your mind. Let it be known. Talk about it. If you're having an argument, you gotta talk about it and make sure you both understand your point. And then maybe you really did mean what you said and you're like, you are a stupid bitch. What did you mean by that though when you said I'm a stupid bitch? Did you did you mean that? No, I it was it's like a metaphor. It's mostly a metaphor for like how much I love you. It's so like stupid, like it's so stupid how much I love you, hun. We good? We're good now. <laughs> So if you find yourself shouting with your partner, I don't know what to say about this because it's just so foreign to me. I don't shout even when I'm mad. So in my mind, I just think, are you sure you guys should be together? Because what are you doing? One of you is going to kill the other soon. It's like that shouldn't happen ever in any relationship. But. I can understand, I'm trying to put myself into another soul and understand how some people are just so passionate. I just, I'm dead. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so like subdued emotionally. I don't express myself loudly, but some people do and I can understand. Arguments get heated, that's how some people express themselves. So don't just dump your boyfriend or girlfriend because you yell but stop being so mean can't we all just get along what where's the love where's the love that's what I want to know you found each other in this life that should be enough that's got to be enough it's got to count for something there's a caterpillar oh my god this camera doesn't focus very closely so all this is probably blurry if not, he looks very interested in you. Not sure if he's throwing spikes at me right now. It could be happening. A defense mechanism. But that's okay. So at the end of the day, even though it was a terrible date, we forgave each other. And we move on. We move on. And we are going to go to the raw restaurant this week. So, could be fun could be worse I don't know I don't make the rules so that is it thanks for watching thumbs up if you like the video thumbs down if you're yelling at your partner right now or you plan to later on tonight you're just gonna let them have it don't be an ass there's enough hate on this planet spread some love you stupid ass <laughs> Okay, we're done here. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one. No cat can resist a box. They try. They really want to. No matter how small it is. Even though you know you're not going to fit in it. There's no possible way. But he'll try. He'll try. That is so cute. Reggie, you are so cute. That is just too cute.